afternoon in Mommy's hometown of Charleston, West Virginia begins with. Pie some pines. It's a really good pizza place right here in downtown. So yeah. Outstanding. And of course they have your favorite style. Prosciutto. Where we're sitting is Capitol Street. This is probably the most well-known, probably the most fun and best street in Charleston, West Virginia, in the downtown area. This particular block is just spectacular. So fun, especially at night. A lot of really cool restaurants to check out. Definitely recommend it. Good work. I hadn't heard of this place until one of the times when our family traveled here when little buddy was young mm -hmm. and I had to try this place out it was getting really good reviews you wouldn't think that one of the top five pizza places I've ever had in all of America would be in Charleston West Virginia this qualifies this is that good mm. that good. this is a white pizza with prosciutto and five different cheeses on it a little bit of black pepper, some uh, other Italian spices, oregano, and things like that. Mm. That's really good. I'm gonna add a little arugula to mine. Do it, uh, pretend that we're eating a salad, although we actually are eating a salad, but give this a whirl. My gosh, the prosciutto is a strong but not overpowering. The arugula is a good balance to it. The cheese mix is a fantastic awesome crust it's not milwaukee thin crust it's certainly not chicago deep dish it's not new york oversized slice if you will it is just really really good the prosciutto quality is out of this world loaded absolutely loaded piece. There are not many state capitals with a golden dome. Yeah. We're about to approach one. This place isn't very small. Yeah, look at the, you got all these buildings. You got the cultural center. All these that seem to be buildings for, like, I guess, offices for the governor, the uh, members of the West Virginia Congress. We went here once, what, well, four or five years ago? How about that? Well, I barely remember that. Oh, we have a Liberty Bell looking thing. We interrupt this regularly scheduled program as we are standing right by the palestra and right in front of Franklin Field here in historic Philadelphia, the historic stadium that has meant so much to college football and the National Football League. Yes. But we are here to thank two of our YouTube friends who have given to Sunshine Kids as we raise $1,000 for them. Who are they? Steven and Andy, Travel Matters with a donation. Thank you all so much, and thank you to everyone else for donating. We are going to put a link right up there for you to check out Stephen and Andy. Uh, Fantastic them. travel channel, great music travel channel, yes. and food as well. Go check them out. Thank you so much. Back to the video. Buddy, mm -hmm. this is what you call a state capital. Wow. Cool. This is a reproduction of the Liberty Bell, which, well, we've seen a couple of times since before and after our move to Philly. West Virginia was born in 1863. Out of the Civil War, as a matter of fact, when a good portion of the territory of Virginia was Union during the Civil War, obviously a good chunk of it was Confederate, a good chunk of the western part of Virginia, they decided to create their own Union-supporting state. So West Virginia became a state on its own. Here along the side, you see a lot of the different governors of the state. Some more recent, like this guy right here from the 1970s. 
arch more. And someone a little bit older. John Jacob, the fourth governor in the 1870s. Now it's gonna get good, buddy. Wow is right. Ah, only half the rocket steps. Yeah, so the old Capitol burned down in 1921, and then in 1924, uh, they started building this, right? And then it took eight years to finish the job. But in 1932, this thing was finished. You see the chandelier-style lamp? They just redid the dome. It is just amazing. Yeah, there was a uh, tornado that came right around here, so they had to fix the dome. We are now entering the chambers of the West Virginia Senate. This is cool. Of course, what I really like is the use of Marquette Championship Blue. That might be a little. That might be a little dark. <laughs> That's awesome. There's a memorial to a West Virginia senator who died serving America in World War One. Wow. Now we're here when there aren't any sessions going on during the Christmas break, so you're not gonna see any action happening in either one of these houses, but just to be in these rooms, it's so awesome. They have adjourned their session and they are not actually operating. Oh. Which means we can go inside. This side, wow. Two state capitals down, 48 to go, though I'm not sure we're necessarily touring state capitals. Yeah, well, actually, 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 what about Washington, D.C.? That's not a state capital, but it's, it's a capital. more important than even a state capital, you yeah. could argue. Join the journey as we continue our father and son journeys wherever we go. Come part of the Sorgi Squad by liking, sharing, subscribing, and hitting that bell. Ding, ding, ding. For little buddy, I am daddy. So long from the state capital in Charleston, West Virginia. See everybody. Almost heaven. <laughs> West Virginia. Okay, I'll stop. Hey, Mr. Squirrel, you want to be on YouTube? No one ever wants to be on YouTube. Look at this Christmas tree. I feel like it's sort of a King Kong version of the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. Like, it had a few issues. This tree had a few issues before it was put up, I think. It almost looks like a, a chandelier. A little bit with the way the lights are set up. And just the way it kind of goes. Yeah, that's... This needs a little bit of love. We want to shoot an outro, but those guys over there are going...
Thank you.